Over the years, through research, new products, and technologies, there's been a lot of effort to help fight the transmission of heartworms in dogs and cats. For more than 25 years, the idea of prevention has focused on the usage of year-round larvicidal medications. These drugs remain very important to the protection of pets against heartworm disease, but there's still a missing key component to providing even more protection against this dangerous and potentially fatal disease. In its 2014 Canine Heartworm Guidelines, the American Heartworm Society recommends that in addition to the year-round administration of approved larvicidal medications, it's important to protect dogs from mosquito exposure, which includes keeping dogs indoors during peak mosquito hours and using mosquito repellents to reduce the risk of infection. Hi, I'm Mike Paul. Over the past 40 years as a veterinary practitioner and a part of various organizations, I've seen how far we've come in our fight against vector-borne diseases in companion animals. The common practice within our profession has historically been to use larvicidal medications to keep adult heartworms from developing. That's of course vitally important, but the prevention of mosquito bites is another important factor that seems to have been overlooked by the profession. And the American Heartworm Society agrees. In addition to mosquito control, keeping pets inside during peak mosquito hours and the use of mosquito repellents on pets may reduce the risk of infection. Here's what we know about heartworm disease. Heartworm disease is considered one of the most important vector-borne diseases of dogs in the U.S. It's been diagnosed everywhere in our country. It can and should be prevented by readily available tools that we have at our disposal. Some strains of heartworm disease are beginning to show resistance to macrocyclic lactones. And client non-compliance with prevention continues to be an ever-present obstacle to prevention of the disease. Every veterinarian needs to be concerned about this disease. Heartworm disease has been diagnosed in dogs in all states of the U.S. And levels of prevalence do vary by geography, but there's a risk of contracting this serious infection for all dogs in all states. It's not just a geographically isolated problem any longer. It's occurring everywhere. And unless we take a new approach, it's a problem that's likely to get far worse. The good news is that with the right system of protection, we can better prevent heartworm infection, and we all know that it's far easier, safer, and less costly to prevent the disease than it is to treat a heartworm-positive patient. Keeping mosquitoes from biting dogs is extremely important to preventing heartworm infection. A topical mosquito repellent parasiticide combined with larvicidal medications will enhance the protection of dogs. I liken this multimodal approach to using seatbelts and airbags in cars. They're two distinctive approaches that combine to provide a higher level of protection and safety than either individually. And at one time, we didn't even think we needed either one. Before the 1960s, seatbelts were primarily considered an option in most U.S. cars. Today, they're used in concert with airbags and save countless lives. We know that improved protection is better medicine, but can we as veterinarians convince our clients? A survey was done to determine what pet owners want when it comes to protecting their dogs, and here's what we learned. They want the best that we can offer to be recommended. They want products that are effective, easy to use, and safe for their dogs. They want products that'll help their dog stay healthy, and of course, they want what's best for their dog as a member of the family. With all that being said, will they use a topical? The results prove they will. In fact, eight out of 10 preferred a topical when they were informed and understood that a topical prevents bites while an oral agent requires a bite to work. Nine out of 10 want their dogs free of the discomfort of bites. Most dog owners who are informed and concerned about vector-borne diseases would not buy an oral flea and tick product knowing that it required a bite to be effective. So that sounds like pet owners are ready. But are we as veterinarians ready? We should be. Let's look at the facts. Most of us are familiar with the strategy of using larvicidal drugs to prevent heartworm disease. We haven't focused much on what brings the larvae to the pet. This unimodal approach cannot be 100% effective 100% of the time due to compliance issues as well as some resistance issues. And for a model that has worked, 
we need look no further than human medicine, where using permethrin-treated mosquito nets has done a great deal to ward off malaria infections. Outdoorsmen using permethrins to keep insects at bay when they are hunting and fishing and camping, and the Army has long made use of permethrin impregnated uniforms, tents, and drop cloths to prevent exposure to disease carrying insects. Prevention works. Let's attack the vector where it meets the host. Let's reduce exposure by preventing the bite in the very first place. Attacking the vector outside and the parasite inside is best medicine for preventing potentially fatal heartworm disease. Permethrin-containing topical ectoparasiticides, like Vector3D, represent the best weapon available for the attack on the front lines. We know pet owners want this protection once they understand the issues. And keeping the pests off the dog will go a long way toward keeping the dogs in our care free from heartworm infection.